There you guys go. First one done of the day. I was a little annoyed doing this one because you guys look where my trailer is. I've been doing this property for four years. I always park on the street a little bit in the grass. I'll tell you in a minute. So you've seen the first one I did. I didn't record it, but I'll show you real quick why I was a little annoyed. Um, I've been doing this property for three or four years. I've always parked on the road because it's a pain to back into here. And I'll show you where I parked. I parked right there. I pulled up and you see I was about a foot in and I put my flashers on. Well, I seen a white SUV coming from all the way down there. So I thought it might be a cop. Um, I come back put my gate down the clients like oh, I'm gonna move my car or move my friend's car so it's not in the way and sure enough the police officer stops right next to me after I have everything down and says um how long are you gonna be here I said I'm gonna be here for 20 30 minutes at the most I just gonna move my car. he said no you can't be here you're not allowed in the road never had an issue before parking there and you want to just pull up and be I don't know, be in A, because I'm parked there. Moving van, I've seen moving trucks parked on the side of the road here and stuff up. But, I don't know. Sometimes they can be annoying. He couldn't let me just stay there for 30 minutes, so I gotta put up my gate again, go back, back up. But I got it done. Okay guys, this is number two. And after I'm done this one, I think I'm gonna go get Rachel. And we're gonna do two more come back and then go do five more to end the day. So we'll do nine all together, I think. And then I'll leave us with three for tomorrow, I think, on a Saturday and maybe a little mulch. We'll have to see how that goes. Or we might just do mulch Monday. Uh, next week's going to be all messed up. I wanted to move everybody mowing Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but we're supposed to have three days of rain again. Um, they're saying only two inches. I'm thinking, depending on where this hurricane goes, it's going to be like anywhere from five to ten inches again. I hope not, and I hope that thing doesn't get as big as they say it is going into Louisiana. Them poor people down there. <sighs> we're only hoping, but you can't control storms. So we're going to go ahead and mow this one up really quick. Maybe I'll get some of the back. It's not that long for three and a half weeks. So there's number two, guys. Man, remember when we had this thing striped nice and green? Oh, this hot weather and high humidity and temps. When we don't put fungicide down on certain lawns, they go quick. Look, the front here, I'm not even sure what happened. Ugh. So hopefully everybody aerates and seeds this year to repair all the damage. Um, and we're going to be using Jonathan Green, all Jonathan Green Black Beauty. Nothing else. So, hopefully that works good. Okay, let's go get Rachel. Two done by myself. Could do more, but I need to go get oil anyway. Look what I found, guys. Yeah, look what you found or who you found. Look who I found. Yeah. Who I found. The boss. Man, I have to say, it was a good week. It was a good week. I managed to homeschool three of our children. They all did well. And mow a whole bunch of lawns with yeah. me. Yeah. We were still able to keep up on our schedule and do what we need to do. But guess what? I was telling them about this earlier in the video because I didn't record much. Um, I might have more time to homeschool next week. You're definitely going to have more time to homeschool next week, the way this hurricane looks. And um, we are thinking <sighs> about all you guys, once again, in Louisiana, Jay and all. It looks like Jay's crazy cut's going to get the worst of it. Well, yeah. wherever it hits land, it's coming right into to them, right? Yeah, Carl said that. Oh, man. I, I, think, I think it's going to be... We're thinking of you guys and praying that it just... I'd, I'd say I'd pray that it dissipates. We do, but I think it's going to be worse than they're saying. I think it's going to be a 4-5. Well, and what did Jay tell you? The craziness, like this was like a 
the fourth his major, major fourth hurricane to hit in that area in like 10 years yeah on the same date so. on like the 20 something i think he said so, so just be safe guys get yeah. out of there don't i mean you probably won't see this video until the day of or whatever hopefully you guys got out of there yeah and hopefully and you're safe and yeah. everything's there, good there's no messing around when a hurt when a storm that big comes on the coast you you're lucky you got lucky as heck if you stayed and you survived this thing so yeah it's scary like but, people don't understand the power how, of mother nature it's yeah the crazy. power of mother nature is um unbelievable and just the force of water you know when we just saw it here and you know we have a friend that's still experiencing you know cleaning up his property yeah. from the flood and you know nobody wants to do that but luckily no one was hurt and um and you then, know here there were some people that did and in lose tennessee their, from the flash floods yeah. that wasn't even from a hurricane it was from just a pop-up like train of storms um we are they are saying two inches of rain here for when tuesday wednesday thursday mm -hmm. um i think it might be a lot more if this thing comes in that big so we're gonna have another wet week let's just hope it's not 15 inches and flooding like before i know because yeah. if we get that much rain this time even though we haven't had really a super lot in the last week it's gonna do more because it's already saturated yeah everything's saturated so we just hope and pray that this isn't as bad as we think it might be okay we're gonna get out so. we have five in here to do and then one more to do and then that makes what eight for the day and then we have four tomorrow and that's it good so yeah. let's get out and get all it right. done so rachel's gonna go up and mess with all up there i'm gonna hurry up and mow this really quick
Okay, guys, we're done this one. I think I'm calling it for the day. I am beat. This one kicks my butt. We didn't finish the last one. We only made it through them five, guys. Them, that hill kicks my butt. Yeah, they do. That development is the hardest development on our, our schedule. Toughest. Yeah. So but. we know that when we do them, we're not doing anything else. Mm. I don't know why we try to say that we're going to. But we still got seven lawns done, right? Mm -hmm. That ain't bad. And it leaves us for five tomorrow. And they're not hard ones at all. So no and we might be doing landscaping the first three four days of the week anyway in rain so yeah right i don't know it's crazy but oh what are you gonna do nothing you can do i mean we're in the business where our job revolves around weather mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so oh man i'm beat Okay, guys, we're going to let you go now and um, enjoy the rest of your evening after watching us. Yeah, we really do appreciate you watching. So please like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Sorry, I'm looking at butterflies while <laughs> flying across. That's why my eyes go back and catches my... I know. I always, like, I, I don't know, like, all of a sudden I'll be like, oh, butterfly, oh, bird. Yeah, they're going after my non-native butterfly milkweed. Oh, right? uh, we were, well, it's, yeah, because it's, um, it's butterfly weed that is normally tropical, grown, I think yeah, like tropical blood, butterfly but blood it's pretty. flower or something. It is pretty. The only thing is, is you have to make sure that if you don't get cold enough in the winter, um, that you cut it down because you don't want monarchs to come find it and not do what they're supposed to do. So that's the purpose of trying to stick to your native plantings, if you didn't know. Oh, so yeah. a little lesson from the boss there. Yeah, and I don't know if, like, it's not, like, a perfect lesson, but <laughs> and we're... that's just what I've learned over the years is that's why you're really not supposed to plant, like, tropical or non-native because it messes up, you know, their life cycle. They... Like, if you don't get cold enough, it doesn't die. So, therefore, they think, like, oh, okay. Well, at the rate we're going, it might stay here year-round, man. Right. It feels that, like we're in Florida for Well, now. right. And then that's the purpose is, like, because we're warmer, it doesn't die off. And then the butterflies and stuff get confused. So, that's why they say to just make sure that you're plant, planting native. So... But again, we upload every day, so hit that notification bell. And you might learn something every day, <laughs> so. I try to learn something every day. I do too. So, and now that I'm schooling, I'm really learning something every or day. Or relearning. Yeah, relearning. Re like algebra and stuff. Oh my goodness, you guys. I completely forgot al algebra. I like rational and irrational numbers. I just school myself, man. Eighth grade math is hard. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> so, so guys have a good night and please like comment and subscribe and be happy or at least try guys have a good night have a good night